Congress is out all week, but lawmakers can't escape pressure to send aid to Ukraine. The White House is now blaming congressional inaction for recent losses on the battlefield. So far, there's no indication the House will take up the bipartisan Senate package, but moderate Republicans aren't giving up just yet. They're pushing a slimmed down alternative, bringing back border provisions like Remain in Mexico while sending $66 billion in military aid to Israel, Ukraine, and Taiwan. But some skeptical conservatives say they want more assurances the number of migrants allowed to cross the border will go down significantly. It's not enough just to put the provisions in place. You got to have specific requirements attached to it to force Biden to say we're going to limit the numbers to something reasonable. There are at least two other groups working on their own alternatives, while Democratic leaders are still calling for Speaker Mike Johnson to take up the Senate version. Scott.